Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to our next video talking about, well, we're going to be, we're going to be talking about the newest video that Cypher PK put out. Yes, I, I do want to continue talking about these videos. I want to do reacts and opinions about it. I actually recorded a video on stream, a secret video. Uh, when, where we actually watched the video together and I commented it as it went along, you know, I kind of like reacted live reacted to it. Uh, that video will be out there somewhere. Uh, if you know how to find it, you know, let me just say this. If you're a member, you'll definitely know where, how to find it. Um, so if you become a member of your channel, don't forget to connect your YouTube to discord so you can be in the discord only and the members only chat in discord to find out a lot of things but uh yeah we're gonna talk about this guys don't forget if you are interested in v buck gift cards uh, i'm actually doing something new and different we for those of you who don't know every single week we do a giveaway I, i've been doing giveaways every single week for a very long time where normally we do a thousand v bucks every single week sometimes we do uh, 2,800 and we've even done a couple of th uh, 5,000. We've never done the big one, the 13,500, but, but we might now because I have started something new where it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys, depending how many people enter, we may do much bigger. So if you want more information about that, go check out the Q and a video, the Q and a video for this week, I'm going to be talking about them and I'm going to be reminding you guys about it. So if you want to find out more information about how you can win a lot of eBooks, go check out the Q and a video for this week. Uh, I'll, I might leave a link down below to it, or you can just go straight to it in my channel. So thank you for watching guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for using my career code. Those of you who do, because you guys are awesome. And that's actually how we pay for all these V-Bucks too. So thank you very much, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and talk about Cypher PK's latest, latest Save the World video. Okay. There's three big things I want to talk about. I want to talk about his V-Buck thing. I want to talk about how I think that he is going to react once he un learns about loadouts different weapons, different classes, uh, abilities. And I finally want to talk about his reaction to the Reddit because he read something on Reddit and the save the, on the Fortnite save the world Reddit and how he's handling save the world, which actually I, I gotta say, I I'm uh, apart from, apart from the first thing we're going to talk about, which is the V bucks. He's, I think he's doing a really good job. I think he's being really positive about it. He's being very cautious about recommending it because he's definitely wanting to learn more about it as he goes along. There was also a little comment there about it takes years to do this, uh, to play this game to, or to complete save the world. So we'll talk about that. Um, so let's start with the first one, which is the V bucks. That's the most important one. Um, I gotta say this, even his title says, so there's free V bucks in Fortnite save the world. That is kind of it's it's not misleading because it's true but i kind of feel like i wish either epic or he would have asked someone uh who, who's played save the world a little more you know to give him a little bit more clarification or if he would have done a little more research because he basically said if you play fortnite save the world you get free v bucks and we all know that that is only for founders so i kind of feel like I mean, right now he already has 210,000 views and it's only been out for two hours. So he's probably going to get like what half a million, even maybe even more views. I don't know how many views he normally gets on, on these. He's going to have so many people who are going to think, oh, if I get save the world, I'm going to get V bucks. And I kind of feel like he, I, I wish that someone would have told him, I mean, I'm sure someone must have. I, I wish someone would have kind of let him know that that's not exactly the case. That's not how it works. The only way that you can get V bucks from Fortnite save the world is if you have a founder's edition and the founder's editions are any of the ones, any, any version, any founder's version of the game. If you bought the game, uh, before June, 2020, was it June or July? I think it was June. I think it was before the end of June, 2020. So if you got saved the world before then or 2019, no, it was 2020. 
if you got save the world before then then you can if you bought a founder's version of the game yes you get v bucks but if you got one after if you got any of the uh if you got any of the current uh the current packs ever since from the very from the metal team leader pack ever since then if you bought any of those packs it, if that's how you have access to save the world you're only going to get x-ray you're only going to get x-ray tickets so i kind of feel like that is the biggest the biggest issue it's not the biggest issue that i have with it because he kind of he was just from his experience he was just saying what he was saying unless he knew unless he knew that you had to you know have a founder's edition which i kind of don't think he did that's a problem i don't know what the fallout is going to be on that and how many people are going to rush to play save the world and then find out that they're not getting v-bucks so or they are going to get the v-bucks because if they buy the founder's edition they get you know that thousand v-bucks so i don't know how long that's going to you know take to cause a problem and hopefully he clarifies that hopefully he clarifies that in his next video if he does one because apparently he said something about a certain number of likes so hopefully hopefully that gets clarified um the second thing is i think that right now he is he seems to be having a lot of fun it's a different kind of game mode it's in within the fortnite universe so he kind of knows what he's doing already so he's chugging along having fun and he's slowly discovering things like the double jump and the dragon slash and things like that and the second that i i think the second that he realizes or understands that there are hero loadouts and there are multiple different abilities and different classes of heroes and they each have different abilities and you can build loadouts boom i mean that's gonna be that's gonna open up a huge world for him but it's also gonna cause a problem because he's not gonna be able to make those crazy loadouts without spending a considerable amount of money into llamas to be able to try and get it or grinding the events and opening the llamas so the question is someone also made a comment there about how there's it takes years to finish save the world and that's true like you guys i've told you guys i think that right now it takes about two full years one year that you have to be playing to do all the all the events and everything and then you might even miss things so you need another year to finish everything up plus to get everything there is plus all the missions stonewood plankerton candy all of that to complete the stand and fight campaign and all the events and all the there's so much content in this game that if you're starting from scratch like he is it's it's pretty huge it's very huge now i think that it might be too much for him when he realizes just how much content there is but or you never you never know he might be cam he might become a save the world youtuber because there is that much there is and as he discovers as he discovers different things in the game he might be making more content for it and and explore it and because it's, it's an awesome game you guys know it and we didn't even talk about weapons schematics like all the different schematics and everything cool that they can do the second he sees like a mythic weapon or a Ma you know what i wonder i wonder if he has a masamune i don't know or uh or if he has a nocturne but anyway so all of that that's going to be huge as well that's going to be a huge discovery for him as well when he realizes and finds out all that there is in that sense he did say something about he didn't want people to give him stuff he wanted to just discover the game on his own two thumbs up that's awesome i'm glad that he's not jumping into the trading thing and just taking things from viewers and that he's gonna be kind of like you know grinding a little bit into the game to see just where he goes so that's awesome i think that's really positive um and finally two kind of two things he mentioned something about a reddit post and again if you want to watch this there'll be a link down below you can go check it out um he mentioned something about a reddit post and i kind of feel like the reddit post thing is very interesting because he he seemed to kind of like laugh it off but 
he said that all he saw in that reddit post was a lot of negativity towards save the world and that veteran players just kind of talking down about it so it's an unfinished game and you know blah 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 and all that um so i kind of feel like that probably deflated him a little bit because it doesn't sound like he commented it sounds like he's just been reading so i kind of hope that you know i kind of hope that he finds other resources and other places to to hear about save the world because definitely you guys know save the world's awesome and it has so much awesome and for someone like him if he is truly wanting to discover save the world and jump into it he is stepping into a giant world of content um so yeah i i kind of you know i kind of wonder if he's gonna go that route or not it'd be great finally like i said i do want to i do want to say that I feel, I feel like he's doing a really good job about being very mature about not either dismissing save the world right away. And he seemed like he was having fun. He seems like he's generally having fun and wanting to play it more, but he may also be hitting the first wall that a lot of people do when they start playing save the world. And that's the lack of a tutorial. There's no real tutorial for save the world. There's no real hey, you know, this is what you have to do. And a lot of us content creators have tried to make like guides and tutorials and that, but um, it's really hard because it's so big. There's so big and there's so much to do that it's very difficult to make a really good tutorial. I've said this before, I want to make a series where it's not really a tutorial or guide. It's just a, hey, this is what this is, you know, kind of like, like a save the world for for beginners you know and and not guiding you or telling you what to do just explaining what things are because like in his video he did a mission with lars doesn't explain who lars is doesn't explain what he's doing here doesn't explain he was calling blue Gul bulgogi you know so yeah i get it it's funny and it, it was funny but he he has no clue about what's going on in the lore of save the world which is fantastic and it's really awesome once you get it but no one really tells you including he doesn't really know right now what he could be getting into like what the loadouts could be like what you know everything could be like so huge props to him because he is being very positive. He is being very positive about it. He is being very positive about experience. He's not trying to jump the gun of this missing save the world or recommending it yet. He's just exploring the game right now. And that's really great. I just kind of feel like for a content creator of his size, I wish that he would have maybe contacted Epic or maybe some other content creator who has played a lot of save the world and just kind of been like, hey, you know, give me a rundown of it or just kind of explain to me the basics of the game or, or something, you know, if Epic, it could have been like, Hey, you know, I can like again, the whole V bucks thing. It's a very dangerous thing to say, saying that there's free V bucks and save the world to a huge audience is kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go over, but all in all, I think he's, doing really good i actually was very interested in watching him play and how he's playing i kind of feel like he's either played it before or he's seen it before or something because he definitely understands a lot of the ai and the mechanics of the game which a lot of us i mean for a lot of us way back when we first started he's playing light years and maybe it is just because he has that much experience in battle royale but uh yeah, I'm very interested to see. I would love to see him continue the series. I would love to see him actually dive in and be like, hey, I'm going to give an honest, you know, a try to save the world and try and grind to it and level up and, and learn the game, which again, it's so massive that he's probably going to hit another wall soon where he's not going to understand just how big the game is and just how deep the lore goes too. It's interesting. But anyway, that's my, uh, I guess that's my opinion to my reaction. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about it. It's very interesting. I'm very, very curious to see and hope to see more uh, that he does and even more bigger content creators or even more battle royale content creators. It's, 
it's a magnificent game save the world is an incredible game with so much content again years of content if he were to ju jump into it i mean he could start making videos save the world and just he could make thousands of videos on save the world if he wanted to especially if he's bored of battle royale or doesn't really want to do it you know so i i definitely i'm sure that his audience watching it are not liking it or maybe even calling it like a dead game and all that you, you guys know all that um i don't know i don't know maybe his audience is positive about it but i don't know if if they're being negative about it he's handling it marvelously and to that i have to say really good job we'll have to see so let me know what you guys think uh don't forget to go check out the q a video if you want to learn how to potentially win a lot of ebooks and um as always i am duj2 if you guys enjoy this video if you enjoy what i do on my channel please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day thanks a lot for watching guys and i will see you guys in the next one thank you guys see ya